and welcome back to my channel. We are kicking off this week's day in the life vlog with a very, very cold day in the office. I've continued to be quite disciplined with my meals and making sure I get my protein in and keeping away from those snacks as much as possible. So this is just a little rice cake omelette recipe that Zaki has taught me a while ago and then I just finished that off with some fruit and then decided to have a sit down and watch one of my current favourite shows, which was The Golden Girls, before I sat down to do some more edits. Right, I just had a... Wow. <laughs> Got way too much hair. I just... I can't want to say something else and I caught my reflection and then realised that the glasses I was looking for earlier, I... they're just sat really loosely so I don't know they're there. Anyway, um, I'm just editing, making sure I get my content out because I obviously have this thing where I record things and forget to post for like months but I am, I'm better at that now. I'm more disciplined, you know, in 2024. So, oh god, this is also a true representation of when I take my hair out after work. I had it in a very slick back ponytail took it out, gave it a little shake, and this is what it is. This is what it's gonna be. Whilst recording this video, I have a whopping, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whilst recording this video, oh. If you have clicked onto my YouTube via laptop, computer, whatever, and you've been on my homepage, there's the first video that pops up. It's a couple's challenge me and my boyfriend did in 2020. It gets me every single time. The laugh is just out of this world. Anyway, whilst recording this video now, I have a whopping 248 subscribers. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I hope you like what you're seeing so far. Clearly you've liked something if you've clicked to subscribe and hopefully we can build this little community up a little bit. So I'm excited and I promise I will be more on top of my content and make sure that it actually gets put out there. Cause I'm funny. I've had some funny moments. I was looking back on some of my archives and I thought to myself, I'm hilarious. And I felt like the people need to see that. Sometimes I like to be a bit serious. Sometimes I don't like to be that serious. But I am an adult so at the same time. I kind of have to be most of the time, but anyway, Hope you like the channel and welcome again. One thing I've really been trying to figure out since switching to YouTube is the algorithm. So I try not to look at views too much, but obviously I post for a reason. I make content for a reason. It's obviously because I want people to see it and I want to build a little community on here. Um, so I do look at, you know, analytics, um, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. What I'm trying to figure out is what is really working for my channel, what things I need to change, where do I go from here? Because it doesn't make sense to me. We have 2.4K views over me poorly braiding my hair for the first time. But then another high view one, I believe is a Zacchaeus, because you guys seem to love him on my channel. 3.6 thousand views of him eating too much at a wedding. Um, the next highest one is DIY, fail. Uh, another one is 2.4k views, which is just me and my sister having a little bit of a play around there. Um, to a song, 2.7k views of cooking, 4.6k views of a voiceover skit, uh, 2.5k views of an ASMR, flowers, another voiceover skit from a call centre, or fake call centre, I don't know. Cooking for my boyfriend. You guys love that one. The feminist hate that one, but I love it. And uh, where are we? 2.2k uh, views again for a skit. So I, I just don't know. that there, there isn't a particular. And 7k views for girl dinner. I mean, I can't blame you, to be honest. That that was all right. Um, but I just, I just can't seem to work out what 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 is my niche what what is the popular thing on my channel that's really going to make it bang what what is the main thing that people like to see from my channel i have absolutely no idea based on these numbers because all of the videos are so different 
I think I'm going to take some time. I don't mean time off of posting. I've just promised that I will make sure I keep up with my content, which is exactly what I'm going to do. But I will, I'm probably going to review. I've got some time this weekend. So I think it's a good time to sit down, really look at what else I have archived that I need to post. What else would be good to post sooner rather than later or more than the rest and I don't know I, I'm, I'm a bit stuck I don't really know how to figure out what the most popular thing is maybe it is just a bunch of random things that people like to see from me and that's totally fine I can just continue to be myself instead of just making a just one type of content like ASMR or just fashion videos or just you know cooking um people seem to like a variety Maybe I've then just answered my own question or my own frustration, which is great. But I will analyse my archives a little bit more and maybe make more of a content plan. Maybe on certain days release one type, certain days release another. I'm currently working on this weekly day in the life. I remember to record every day. I'm hoping this goes well because I do. I like to do snippets of my day. I don't like to record absolutely everything, you know, constantly have my phone in my hand. But there are definitely moments that I like to capture. Uh, some I keep for myself and some I'll use for the day in the life uh, weekly vlogs. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll review this weekend and hopefully by the next one of these, I have a bit of a better idea as to what sort of what way and what direction my channel is going to go and come up with some sort of solution and work on that over the next couple of weeks and just really see what I can do. If I also just look at what is currently popular, and I find shorts do a lot better than my videos, as you will see my videos, not so much. They take a while to edit. I'm hoping they start to do well. Um, I think I may just cut my losses with those for a while, depending on how these weekly vlogs go, and just continue with the shorts, just because they naturally do better, quicker to post, quicker to film, etc. More popular ones, though. Is probably what I should have done first. Um, again, it's just random, but also maybe like the more natural videos, it seems. I mean, there's some here that are obviously put together from certain voiceovers. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think a big, a big sort out is in order, a big evaluation of, like I said, where I want my channel to go. And yeah, really just go, <laughs> just go from there. If you want to see that, click on it. If you haven't seen it, you know what? Just binge my whole shorts feed and tell me what your most favourite one is. Or drop it in the comments. What sort of things do you like to see from like women's channels? I don't know. I'm new to this thing, but it'll be very exciting and interesting to hear your thoughts. So I was explaining my frustrations with my content to my boyfriend and here he is giving me some words of wisdom. He's quite experienced in this side of things um, and is just a bit more knowledgeable than I am and comes up with some really, really good ideas. So very grateful for him really giving me some advice and just helping me and kind of directing me because he, he understands what I want to do and where I want to go with it. I find it hard to explain that sometimes. He hasn't been feeling too well recently, so I just whipped up some lemon, honey and ginger for him to hopefully start to feel a little bit better. The home remedies are mostly the best. I always find vlogging quite um, humorous sometimes because there's a lot of behind the scenes that not everybody shows, so I thought I would just leave in this part where I was going to take off the mugs and leave it there, but I had to come back for the camera, so I kind of left it in. I kicked off the weekend with only having a half day on Friday, so I only had to work just a couple of hours in the morning. It meant time, meant that I had time for breakfast, had time to read some of my book as well, and really just be able to relax for the rest of the day. I didn't really know where the day was going at this point. I just knew that work was done and I needed to eat something. This was one of those rare occasions that we both got to work from home at the same time and decided to have lunch together. So let's cue in the ASMR. Once we were done with lunch, Zacchaeus had to go into work and I spent the rest of the day doing a little bit of home decor shopping. 
well, more browsing, not shopping. I knew I already had a bunch of stuff already that I still hadn't opened or hadn't used. So I knew that buying more home decor was probably not the best decision for today. I did, however, remember that I wanted to do a photo gallery wall. Now, we don't have the best luck with our walls because they are literally Super Saiyan walls. Anything we try to hammer into them normally breaks the nail off or kind of crumbles away. So we have to drill holes to put up shelving or full on hard screws in order to get the job done. I couldn't resist looking at some Christmas decoration sales. I have to say the prices were not pricing for me. It wasn't enough sale for my liking. Too expensive. I would have absolutely loved that wreath to be on sale. Unfortunately, it was still full price. Everything that I liked wasn't on sale. So I decided to walk away from that and get back to the actual point of this trip. Whilst I was browsing the DIY section, I did remember that we did have some shelving at home that I could use to create a different style gallery to what I was originally planning. But I decided to put a bunch of stuff back and only come out with very different frames to what I originally went in for. I kept reminding myself to also trust the process. I popped into Danelm. I was on the search for a cutlery drying tray for our sink. Saved myself about 15 pounds on the one I originally liked. My day was absolutely made up when I came across the Method products that were all on sale and they had it in my favourite scent, which is wild rhubarb. I did manage to resist quite a lot of home decor pieces in here, even though there are so many January sales. I walked away from it all, but at least I know now if there's something that I really, really want, I can just go back and get it. I picked up some photo paper so that I could print multiple photos at home instead of going into another shop to do that. All right, guys, I think this is the end of today's part of the vlog. I've also come to the conclusion that I need to check more before I leave my flat. The photo frames I bought, I believe I do have some black photo frames in our shed. They're not all the same size and I don't think they're the same material. I think I went through a little bit of a phase of having mismatched frames. So I think before I actually unwrap the ones that I bought today, um, tomorrow morning when it's a bit more light, I'm gonna go in the shed, dig out all the frames that I have, all of the screws, and the shelves, everything that I have that could potentially make up the photo wall. And I may potentially have to come back and return a lot of it, but at least I have options. And as a woman, we love options. Due to the timing, we decided to eat back at Zacchaeus's studio and we still had quite a bit of work to do from both sides. So we kind of just chilled here for a couple of hours to finish off. It was definitely an eventful session to say the least. Aren't we a who? We are a who. <laughs> they keep telling each other they want it to be dead for hiding. <laughs> I'll never understand why. <laughs> I want to be a dead for hiding. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm going to become a dental hyenist. <laughs> We both love a good laugh, if you couldn't tell already. If you have seen this movie, I'm so gutted I can't use the sound for it. If you've seen the movie, you know exactly which part this was and why it was funny. Clean, clean. Well, give me my teeth, clean. She's a dental hygienist. Clean that shit, dental hygienist. Well, give me my mouth, clean. Don't need no mouth wash. Uh, dental hygienist. Dental hygienist. Uh-uh, dental hygienist. Look at teeth. <laughs> like I've been chewing stones. No dental hygienist. What? Dental high. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. I ain't gonna let him show me up. guys so this printing photos fiasco truly almost had me my printer completely packed up thank god for instant photos so i popped out of mum the next morning she tracked me to a coffee and then we went to the charity shop to do a little bit of retail therapy i also grabbed some home decor inspiration while we were there it's one of those places where it's kind of laid out so you can literally see how it's going to be in your home and i also got the best bargain of the day I saw this lamp and it was one of those things where I couldn't leave without it. It's so pretty. 
I love, I just love this whole bit from down. I love this so much. I don't know where these came from. I don't know if it's from that, if there's missing any, but I love it. So I'm going to wipe it down, give it a bit of a clean and put it in its rightful place. I love it. Best bargain of the day for me. All right, you guys, I checked the shed. Hands out, I only have one of these. So I have a bit of a plan because I do have these. Maybe paint them black as though they are the black floating shells that I originally thought I had. And they are slim. I do have like a tiny lip on them here. So at least then the photos don't like fall forward. I know we need to paint a little bit in here, which I don't think we're doing until next year. But I just want to make sure that this bit here is a lot nicer. And again, the black goes. I also picked up the photos. So those ones there will be going in these frames. We can probably just see roughly how it will look. It's going to be a bit of an experimental afternoon right after I eat. I've pretty much got everything I needed this morning. I've just got back. My mum has gone home now, so I may do a little bit of a restock, a little bit of an ASMR restock maybe. We'll see how this goes. Almonds, and he tends to mix these in the jar together. So all the nuts that he likes, they can all go in a jar. Got some rice, we need to restock our big jar of rice. Grabbed most of the seasonings that I needed. They didn't have everything in there today. It was super busy, obviously Saturday. I've been out of this for about a week and a half finally got some more and then I just grabbed some mixed curry powder and then have barbecue we love love popcorn here so I grabbed some more corn for us to pop popcorn uh, we do have some already but we're running a bit low we eat this a lot they didn't have the bigger bag so I just got how much is it two kgs should be enough for the two of us yes size of my head so instead of using oil we'll do normally like a tablespoon of two of this while we cook so it lasts a bit longer than oil glad to try some alternatives and just see how that works for us so i'm hoping this thing here needs like three holes and the existing drill holes perfectly oh okay there's like two one m m either side but it should i should be able to make it work a few moments later so gutted because it's literally half a centimeter difference so unfortunately i am going to have to drill some new holes done the two new holes just making sure that these here fit in before i paint it <laughs> Morning and welcome to Sunday. I'm just having my breakfast, having a cup of tea, first tea of the day, and then I need to sort this flat out. We've got a bit of decor to get done, a little bit of a clean, it's not too bad at the moment. And I'm gonna go out in the shed because I'm pretty sure I have more shelving and more decor that I can kind of help make this place look a little bit more like a home. Um, I wanna talk about a film we watched last night that left me quite disturbed. We first watched Equal we've watched Equalizer 3 last, which was amazing, incredible film. Um, but the one the one that really left us quite speechless was Saltburn. Now I'm quite a talker. If some ish is going down on a film, I'm like, oh, why are you doing that? I will yeah, I'm very I'm very vocal, let's just say, when we watch films. I try not to be, 
this film left me gasping, speechless, disturbed. I couldn't watch some parts of it. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't watched it before you do, all you need to YouTube or search up is Subburn Reviews and every person's face on their video thumbnail as a collective is what we both looked like when we're watching the film. I have never seen anything like it. And at one point I turned to my boyfriend and I was like, what kind of what kind of crazy, twisted, sick individual would, would write that into a film? It's so it was a hard watch. Some parts were a hard watch. I think the beginning was quite interesting because you're trying to work out what the angle is, what's going on. I'm not going to say what it is because if there's anyone watching this who hasn't seen it and is going to watch it, I'm I'm not going to spoil it for you. But yeah, it, it kind of gets you thinking, especially at the beginning, like, okay, so, you know, you've got to try and work people out and, oh, you make certain assumptions about what you think might happen. It is completely not what you think. So in the rest of today, or the rest of this morning, it's still quite early, I'm going to finish my tea, get ready, and then I'm going to go raid, raid our shed see what other home decor I can use to put some finishing touches on some stuff I changed over yesterday. Also changed the layout of the living room again, so I just moved the sofas back to how they were. Maybe a brisk walk and then a workout or a workout, then a brisk walk. I'm almost at my weight goal. If there's some days where I, if it's, I don't know, work gets too much or for whatever reason I don't work out, I'll at least still make sure I walk and I'll always make sure that my eating is right. I don't believe in being able to eat junk food and then still being able to lose weight as long as you go to the gym. You have to kind of cleanse yourself and work out, eat right. Both in, both of those go hand in hand. Helps things like mental and sleep and just your day to day. It's massively helped with my skin as well. I've noticed a massive difference. So there's a lot of things that go hand in hand when working on things like fitness goals and just bettering your body and your mind really. And mine is working out, eating right. It makes a huge difference because of the positive impacts it has on other parts of my life. raided the shed this is all the greenery i found i painted this recently i don't like it anymore so i've got some like darker fake eucalyptus with some green this one here the pot i got from i think it was on my garden center vlog if you've not seen it but this is still going strong i've got some fake lighter eucalyptus i think it's a vase but i use it as an ornament um i've always got tea lights floating around somewhere but these are scented ones I normally just have plain ones I believe I probably picked up scented ones by mistake this I've had for a while don't know if I like this I like the gold but I, I think it's the base there's nothing really in here that goes with this color this I feel I wanted to originally put in the bedroom but the bedroom is more like pastel so it's like whites and light green you know very airy and clean whereas the black and the brown fits better in the living room as you would have seen so i'm still i got these for as a gift i'm still debating on where to put them here i also got some paint brushes out of the shed i forgot i had small ones this would have been a massive help yesterday <laughs> forgetting i have a full crafting box of spray paints and all the diy and um, some random paints and like uh, stone effect type things as well they can be for a whole other project all right i've been doodling a little bit I took all the stuff out of the shed and then I started overthinking about what to do with everything or if I should change anything else around. Honestly, I should have just kept it minimal and just kept it moving. Anyway, we are here now. I'm going out for my brisk walk stroke, run stroke jog. Uh, the wind has started to pick up really badly so I need to kind of get that out of the way before we have a bit of a storm. Hopefully it's not a storm but either way I've got a waterproof so Worst case, I'm kind of protected. All right, my camera cut off because my boyfriend called me. We are now going to the gym together. Uh, so I'm gonna run on the treadmill instead of running in the freezing cold outside where it's potentially gonna rain again. I suggested to walk to the gym, so I still get a bit of a brisk in, but uh, he's hurt his leg. So <laughs> we're gonna drive to the gym now, do our workouts, 
Uh, I can then still do my running on the treadmill, then we can get back, get some food, and then whatever it was else I was planning to do today, I guess I'll get around to later on. But either way, now I'm not running in the freezing cold, so it's actually a better idea to go to the gym instead. And Sundays are normally a little bit more quiet, so I guess with that we'll be able to get on what we need to basically get in and get out with our workouts and then go about the rest of our Sunday. Sometimes I work out with my jumper though, sometimes I work out with my fleece as well, it just depends on how comfortable I feel on the day. So we'll be home in about 10 minutes so I can finish the cleaning up that I was supposed to do this morning before I start to dilly dally with home decor. All right for today's workout I will probably do legs and glutes again so i just ordered these bands off amazon for my glute workout workout warm up uh this is the more loose one that i like to just do one set with and then i do three or four with the tighter band they're the same size just the resistance is different not sponsored in any way i just bought these off amazon um i use them with my pt so i figured on the days that i'm not with her i can just carry on my same workouts then i've got these which have a little bit of padding i don't lift massive weights i think the highest i've done is like 35 but that i believe may have been with rdls potentially not actually like pressing weights i mostly do them with squats on the bar or um as rdls and then i've just got my standard sony headphones i love them i will not replace them until they conk out on me so far it's been about three years so these are my gym day ones and then I've got my <laughs> very nerdy gym waist waist bag. I'm going to call it a waist bag. Um, I know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Okay, that's all done. Two other people called me whilst I was filming, so I managed to pack up everything else. I should really just put my phone on DND &D whilst I'm filming, but anywho. Packed up some of Zacchaeus' stuff as well and now we are heading to the gym. All right, it happened again, so I will check in after. <laughs> guys happy monday uh there's not much going on today because i'm working from home however it is hair wash day i was gonna go out for a brisk walk at lunchtime however over the weekend we had i think it was like 18 mile per hour winds and it doesn't look i mean it's sunny but it doesn't look warm i think instead of doing my brisk walk or venturing out to go to the gym i am going to do some yoga this evening so I may get some dinner prepped and ready is the plan. Then by the time I finish yoga after work, I can then just relax. I need to actually edit all the footage from Saturday and Sunday. My natural hair is a bit of a challenge every day in its current state. I was looking at some protective styles just to make it easier for myself. I have got a bunch of stretched hair that I can do braids with, but braids still take me a bit of a long time to do and I know I need to practice a little bit more so I can get a little bit quicker it's just yeah the aching of my arms and the time it just takes a very 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 long time for me to do so I'm more looking at a protective style for this week something maybe that can last me a week or two my hair is always just more manageable when it's in a protective style so I YouTubed a bunch of things this morning and I think I may try one later I'll see how I feel I know I need to do it it's just number one deciding on one to do and then making sure that I actually follow through with it and maintain it. I'm still at the stage where if I buy bad things I will likely overindulge so I'm not at the stage yet where I can fully resist bad things. I like to think actually no I'll give myself more credit actually because there has been some recent times where things have been here either people have bought us or that Zacchaeus has bought and I've either not had any or I've had just a small amount. I think I'm, my mindset is just not strong enough to fully resist everything.
come to the end of this weekly vlog. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for following along. Don't forget to subscribe to see more if you haven't already and make sure you leave a comment of your favourite part of the video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.